Hello everyone, I am Pyro Falcon, and this is Monster Rancher 4. In the last episode, we started our Monster Rancher adventure. Those are not the buttons I'm trying to hit. That wasn't either. I'm trying to go to schedule. Good job, brain and fingers. Anyway, we have Eva Marie here as our first pixie in this all pixie challenge. And just as a reminder, the goal of this run is to get to the cutscene the cutscenes, the credits, uh, not any of the other extra stuff. Yes, it is very easy to get to just get to the credits, not do all the post-game stuff. That's fine. I have plans for the other stuff, so you can still watch me do that stuff later, but at least here on YouTube, the point will just be to get to the credits. So, um, and as always with my videos, I want you to give me names for our monsters. Now, right now we've got Eva Marie, and she is named after a professional wrestler who I think was retired and now might be coming back, but maybe not. I, I don't know. Um, but I am interested more in the names you all come up with. Just let me know in the comments below what names you want to see. And the later episodes that you comment the name then the higher the chance I'll pick it, especially if you do the same name in every episode. I know that sounds weird, but I want to reward people who are actually watching the series, not just people who are coming in, watching for five minutes, and then leaving. So please send me your names multiple times, and as long as it's funny or interesting or clever or unique, then I will try to choose your name. But it's all Pixies! All pixies, so you probably won't, or you probably will want to use names that are somewhat feminine, but hey, who am I to judge? Just give me some interesting names, and we'll do what we can. I don't even care if the names are just goofy or ridiculous. If there was enough room, I probably would have named my first pixie Cottage Cheese. Why? Because it's the first flippin' word that came to my head. So, here we are. Anyway... Eva Marie is already one for one in this tournament, and hopefully it goes two for two, takes the win. We don't need the money yet, because all of our food is being provided for us. And, okay, come on, Eva. Eva, come on. There you go. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we need to work on her bonding, otherwise this timidity is going to just keep happening. And it will be very obnoxious. So we need to fix that. Ugh, Swayzos. Has to be eyeballs. Just die, please! Alright. You know what? Fine. You be nilvana would I'm gonna hang out here while that wears off. You have no attacks from close range, so you can't do anything right now. You're trying to run away from me for some reason. Oh, Eva. I mean, I can't blame Cyrano for doing that, but come on, Eva, you you gotta dodge that stuff. All right, two for two. She's still struggling to hit her attack. She needs to keep working on her accuracy. That tends to be the main attribute that I have my monsters gain because all the power in the world doesn't mean anything if you can't land an attack. And it works the other way too. Monster Rancher 4 has a much wider range of hit percentages than other Monster Ranchers did. Um, so, for example, in Monster Rancher 2, it was like the best I could ever get was a 70% attack. Here, you can get 99% attacks, and you can have such a high dodge rate that the enemy only has a few percent, like 3% chance to hit. Um, and that's generally how I raise my monsters in Monster Rancher for what are we doing? Schedule. Um, I that's generally how I raise my monsters in Monster Rancher Four. I prefer to do lots of dodging and lots of accuracy. Our team motto is basically always hit, never be hit. Always hit, never be hit. Because if you always hit and you're never hit, you're gonna win every match, and it doesn't matter whether you win by knockout or time. A W is a W. Always hit, never be hit. So, right now, always hit is more important than never be hit, and Eva Marie needs to learn that as quickly as freaking possible. 
so I can start winning more matches. All right, I think you're ready to rest. I suppose since I planned her schedule in advance, I could go week to week, or I don't have to go week to week on her, but I still prefer going week to week. Um, it's... I always feel a little bit bad about it. I mean, I don't know why. It's my game. I can play however the hell I want to play. Uh, but the fact that they added that as a quality of life change to plan your weeks in advance, and I just never use that system because I prefer having more control over it and reacting to every situation as I come to it. Just is what it is. All right, so we're gonna have you shadow box twice. No, three times and then rest you, and then you'll have that competition. It's a good way to keep things straight, especially once you start getting more and more monsters, and we will eventually have a team of five pixies, and we're gonna have fun with that. Um, but, you know, it's, it gets a little rough to try to figure out where everyone's schedule needs to be, unless you pay very close attention. And when I do Let's Plays, who oh boy, do I not pay very close attention to things. Keeping up the- yeah, give me food. Great. Yup, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think in theory by now you should have gotten through this. Certainly Garu is very strong. And he can usually tear through the competition pretty easily. Pixies, meanwhile, are a little harder to raise because they tend to be a little independent and not want to listen to you at first. And they start off a bit weaker, but that's fine. That's fine. We're going to raise the strongest women's team that has ever been seen here in Fimba. They're going to absolutely dominate the competition. All right, have a mango and the next week you rest. Why did I give you a mango? That was further down the list. What am I doing with my life? Um, but wait, was that on the list? I don't even remember. Anyway, you're gonna rest this week, and then we're gonna do the competition. We're entering the official E-Class tournament. And what that means is if she wins, which she damn well better, then she will be promoted to the D-Class. If she loses, I'm gonna throw her off the cliff and drown her in the ocean. No, no, I don't regret that sentence at all. That's what I'm gonna do. So she better flip and win. Or the fish down in the ocean are gonna get a very, very tasty midnight snack. All right, Eva Marie, you got this. I have faith in you. I, I probably have faith in you. I'm sure I have faith in you. Oh, I love the little entrance animations here. Ugh. Shattered knees and ankles. <laughs> Just like the superhero pose from Marvel movies. Hello, Sharp. Bring it. All that accuracy work is definitely paying off as we have a 75% chance to hit, now down to a 71% chance to hit. Pretty solid. Not the best, but better than zero. And... We don't necessarily need to work on speed yet, because even Sharp here, who is a Tiger main, Tiger mains have high accuracy, and he only has a, what, 30-ish percent chance to hit on all his attacks. So, Eva Marie has started off with some decent speed, and is able to dodge everything coming at her, other than apparently a kiss from an eyeball. That is a sentence I basically regret saying, but anyway, the point is, she's gonna be fine, and hopefully she's able to carry herself to victory against Sackboy here. Ow? Okay, you're an asshole. Here's a that in your face. A ray cast. Starlight is a much- oh shit, he's closing the distance. That's fine. I'll keep using this attack. Even though I've got diminishing returns, it's got a high chance to hit. Yeah, you can be- are you showing me your ass? Stop showing me your ass. Eat it. There we go. Yeah, see, even with diminishing returns. Thanks to having a higher accuracy, I just chip damaged you down. Alright, two down. Here comes Shapiro. This is not the scary dino. Ugh, 
He looks cool as hell, though, since he's a Naga. Nagas are my favorite breed. I have just happened to have the best luck with Pixies for some reason. I've beaten three out of the five Monster Rancher games with Pixies. One of them I bluntly cheated on, but still, I'm counting it anyway. And I don't know why, I just have the success rate. I love the number of comments I get when I use Power Pixies, where I am explicitly told I'm playing the game wrong and then I win anyway. It makes me laugh and makes me very happy. This is why, hopefully you are a casual gamer like I am, there's nothing wrong with being a casual gamer, and uh, you know, games are meant to be fun and that's what this channel is all about, just playing the game, hanging out, having fun, not being too stressed about anything. Because, as especially as I'm recording this, it's 2020, and who boy, are there things to be stressed about that have nothing to do with video games. Nice dodging, Eva. Push him away, starlight him. Well done. Uh, do it again. Cool. Oh, well, thought I'd have to do a follow-up. That's great. Starlight is really strong. It's just a fairly expensive attack since it costs 25 guts to do, but it's, uh, it's pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with this. I'm happy with the way things are turning out right now. Anyway, yes, there are many things uh, that are bad about 2020 as I'm recording this, including that thing that's going around that YouTube doesn't want us to talk about, so that's fine. I, I am here to give you a little bit of a distraction from that. Why did you block my attack with your head, neck, body qu traps? What? What? What are you? You know what? I don't care. Go away. I don't like duckins. They're creepy and weird, and d I don't find them cute at all. It's <sighs> gonna be a pain in my ass. Come on, Eva. There you go. One more. Yeah, get pissed, you duck bastard. Okay, Eva, could you not retreat? There you go. Well played. I have to say, after playing all the different Monster Rangers, I still like the Monster Ranger 1 pixie design better. She's less lanky. Ugh. Woo! She's less lanky. She's very thick. T-H-I-C-C. -C. I... <laughs> If I had done an all Pixie run with Monster Rancher 1, I would have named the first one Thixie. Alright, D-Class. You won the official competition! Well, I guess my work is done. Done? What do you mean, Yuri? Well, my father wants me to come back and work at the store. I decided I would quit if you won the competition. Sorry, I didn't tell you before. I wanted to beat TT before I quit. It's been a lot of fun. Oh yeah, we did kick our ass. I wasn't even paying attention. That was the last monster we fought. I'm just, I'm just, just got Eva Marie tearing ass through the division without regards to who she's taking down. <sighs> Wait, you mean I have to take care of this ranch by myself? It's big and I'm lazy. <laughs> Don't you worry, partner. I've got a replacement lined up, and she's here. There you go. Don't be shy. Come on out now. Uh, hello. Uh huh. Is that you, Rio? You look so much more interesting and attractive. What with your better clothes and such. Yup, doesn't she look different? I was amazed too. R really? I figured it would be easier to work with this outfit. Does it look all right? It's awesome. I love the way the red and the blue pop. Of course, it looks great. So check this out. When I told Caesar I'd be moving on for my assistant position, Rio said she wanted to take over. Gosh, I was totally surprised. Wow, really? So it's okay then, right? You be a good girl, Rio. I I always I always wanted to raise monsters on a ranch. When I heard about Yuri, I thought, this is my chance. This is my chance. Well, you said it. This is our chance. Fist bump. Yep, our chance. Hell yeah. All right, what the hell am I doing? Oh, I'm training monsters. That's, holy crap, I might get to my second and third monster a little quicker than I thought I would. Um, 
Well, I have a contingency plan for that, so it's no big deal, even if I have to make two temporary monsters real quick. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, scheduling. You're probably gonna hear me ask, what am I doing? A lot more often than I would like to. Okay, so, what is your current level for accuracy level 14? Okay. Let's get you to accuracy 300 or level... Is every level 100? Uh, 20? Yeah, every level is 20. I didn't know that. Huh. Okay, so that'd be level 16 then. So we want to get her to... My point is I want to get her to accuracy 300, and then we'll go from there. Um, so another... Hey, do better, Eva. A common word you're going to hear me say during this run, probably, added to your Pyro Falcon bingo cards, is reevaluate. Because the way I generally raise my monsters is I will find a stat to raise, in this case, accuracy. And then we'll put her in a tournament, and then we will reevaluate her situation and her stats at that point and decide where to change her techniques from there. Hello there! Hello, Yuri. What brings you here? Well, actually, there's someone I want to introduce to you. He's right over there. Hello. I still want to know if Tult is supposed to be a girl in the Japanese version or what, what the deal is. He's just not... I don't normally see men depicted in anime with headbands, but Tult's a dude, so my name is Tult. I'm a monster ve veterinarian. I almost said vegetarian. I'm traveling around, checking the health of monsters. Oh, nice to meet you. Tult came up- oh, that was the wrong voice. Tult came all the way from the faraway island of age. He's traveling the world for the sake of monsters everywhere. All around the world? That's incredible. Uh, please, it's not that big of a deal. Oh, sorry, I interrupted your monster caretaking. No, it's no problem at all. Well then, I'll be heading to the other ranches. Goodbye then. If you're ever in the neighborhood, please feel free to stop by. Uh, okay, goodbye. What a nice person. I can sense his love for monsters. So there are other people in the world, like Pyro, aren't there? Yeah, and if he came from the Island of Age, doesn't that mean he came from my home country, too? Ugh, this ranch is just like I expected it would be. Hello, is anyone home? Huh? Uh, I'm the breeder at this ranch. Who are you? <laughs> Excuse me, I'm Pollock. It's not racist when it's a name, probably. I'm a training gadget peddler. Training gadgets? I saw your battle in the competition the other day. I guess you're not using training gadgets. I could tell. You suck. Wait just a minute. What the heck is a training gadget? Oh, sorry, Charlie. Yeah, I'll start there. Training gadgets are, well, gadgets you use for training. Let me know if I'm going too fast for you. In other words, they're machines that boost the effects of training. Everybody uses them. And you, my friend, have great potential. Why don't you try using a training gadget on your ranch? You'll soon be seeing even better results. Well, I'll come again later. Bye. Uh, okay, bye. Ugh, using machines for training. What do you think, Rio? Training gadgets run off Geonite. Geonite is an energy that, of the Earth found in spirit trees. So you mean gadgets use energy from Makaruji? Don't worry. I'm old enough to have saved up plenty of extra geonite. Makaruji, don't overexert yourself, okay? It's decided then. Let's try to use some training gadgets on our ranch. We'll have an opportunity to buy them next, oh, or this week. Yes, yeah, great. Yep, yep, gonna buy some. Okay. So, we need, since this is gonna be an all pixie run... Unless we have a Kasumi, or when we get a Kasumi, then I will start needing to make a Power Pixie. But right now we'll get Intelligence for raw power. Didn't mean to customize immediately. And we will also buy the target for accuracy. I think that's all we can buy right now. Because the target takes up a flippin' buttload of space. 
Uh, and, yup, no, place, and then list, and then book, and then book. There we go. Yep, that's all we can do for now. Eventually, we'll be able to expand the ranch, and then we can buy more stuff. Actually, how much money do I have? I'm just gonna buy the speed one now. That way I've got it for when I expand the ranch. Um, but for now, we're good. We've got other things we need to buy from him, but our money is a bit low since we have just started and need to run some more tournaments to get some cash. But we'll start doing that in the next episode because I'm out of time for this one. Don't forget to check the video description by hitting that see more link to check my Discord server and hang out with more like-minded fans, including a lot of Monster Rancher fans. And you can hit those subscribe buttons and notification bells. You know what they you know what they do. You've been around YouTube a while. And that way you won't miss the latest episode of my All Pixie Run here it, with Monster Rancher 4. That was almost smooth. Probably would have been smoother if I scripted it, but I never script these shows. Thank you all very much for watching. I will see you again tomorrow for another episode.